The Yamhill Carlton School District has always been a place for academics, sports, and opportunities. But with the ever-changing world of technology, innovation was needed. The old way of doing education works for some students, but it's my expectation at Yamhill Carlton High School that we are meeting all students exactly where they are in creative ways. You know, all these students potentially have the, uh, the potential to, to make changes and make that, that could affect the world. The I3 Center, which stands for Inspire, Innovate, and Invent, is something we've put together which goes along with our Yamhill Carleton Career Academy. Innovate Oregon was originally invited down to work in Dayton, uh, a nearby school district, and we began a process two years ago where we launched an Innovation Academy. From that, we began working with that district to help reimagine that school district and how we could bring a la an agile learning model into the school day. We began also talking with the superintendent and the principal up here at Yamhill Carleton, and were invited to come up here to also to participate in this process. Within the past two years, YC students designed, constructed, and refined a drone system. Bringing in industry professionals, YC is blurring the lines between academic and professional work. This system will be able to analyze and relay crop health to local farmers, further supporting our community. The skills that they're learning, the electrical skills that they're learning, uh, they're doing some very basic um, ACDC theory work, they're doing some soldering skills, again debug, um, doing a lot of QA testing, so okay we've got this great design, now how do we test it? What, what do we need to test? And uh, what's a pass, what's a fail? When this project was first brought to us, its goal was really technological. It was to build something that could accomplish a mission. But as it could be inherent, it wasn't enough to simply build it. We need to have this system in the hands of people that know how to use it. I'm excited by this project because it allows me to connect agricultural kids and kids from lots of other backgrounds together. We hope that that, um, that spirit of innovation and that work will eventually cause our young people to set up businesses here in our community. So we began to focus in on the drones and particularly began to look to see whether or not there might be problems within the local communities, challenges that could utilize this new drone technology. And if we could bring those problems to the students, partner with people from the industry, start to solve those problems, we knew that the students would be able to learn quickly in this new Agile model. It's not like in a massive school, it's in a small community and we're building a drone for a farmer. You don't see that in many schools. You know, in my, in my career, uh, interviewing and bringing in uh, interns uh, from colleges, they all have the same uh, classes, coursework. So we're looking for students uh, that stand out. And so that's what we're hoping to give these kids, is a chance to not only take some of these things that they're learning, but actually uh, apply it in a practical sense, demonstrate those skills. And it's gonna make them stand out uh, if and when they do. Um, internships for other companies are going to get picked up very quickly. Yeah, I want to really become an engineer, so this is the stepping stone of becoming one. The process in itself, we believe, is going to create this real spirit of can-do uh, and the spirit of being able to go out there and truly solve problems, and we're excited about that. The work done in the drone program is just the beginning. YC is passionate about equipping today's students with tomorrow's skills. My name is Thompson Morrison. Zach Brazil. Jordan Slavish. I am Sharan Klein. I'm Greg Newman. I'm Jeff Brazil. And I am YC. And I am YC. And I am YC. I am YC. And I am YC. And I am YC.